you know, this is new to me because like I said, almost about a month ago, I started tracking my time on my phone and it blew my mind. And like, you know what? I'm taking my time back that I was wasting on my phone and using it towards my my focus, which is mobile content, being a content creator, I guess. I don't like... Yo, guys, welcome back to another podcast. This is me, Patrick LeVar. Again, if you do not know or you're new to this a podcast, I am a mobile filmmaker with over 140,000 subscribers. And in this podcast, I talk about tips and tricks and things you can do to help build your YouTube channel up or whatever you decide to do, Instagram or what all that. So enough of the jibber jabber. Let's get straight straight into it. Today we are talking about time. And uh, I get this uh, this request. A lot of people ask me, dude, like, I just don't have time to do a YouTube or to start my brand or I don't have time. I don't have time. And, you know, it, it's funny because I was having a conversation with a buddy uh, recently. And he's like, yeah, man, how do you have time to do all this stuff? And I was like, yeah, you know, it's, it's you know, you got to you gotta make some sacrifices. Ah, yeah, I don't have any time to I don't have any time to to make sac- everything I need. I'm like, oh, great. Uh, hey, by the way, did you uh, catch the uh, the new uh, uh, Stranger Things coming out? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you watch last season? Yeah, I watched last season. It was awesome. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I killed that thing in a week. I watched the whole episode, all the episodes in a week. I'm like, oh, wow, great. You know how long it took me to finish the last season of uh, Smarter Things or Smarter Things, uh, Stranger Things? It took me four months to watch Love the last season that was season three or something like that. It took me four months to complete the season. You know, I don't have time to sit and watch Netflix. I don't have time to sit and watch an episode of Stranger Things. Why? Because I'm sacrificing some leisure time to do what I'm passionate about or to to do this YouTube page, to do that podcast or to do that, whatever you want to start or whatever you have a dream to start. You got to make some sacrifices. We spend a lot of time on mindless things that we just think that we need. We really don't, you know. Uh, another thing, I put this in check. I even checked myself on it. Like, how much time do I actually spend on Instagram scrolling, right? Like, oh, I spend less than an hour a day. Yeah, right. Do you have any hard facts to back that, that you only spend an hour a day? I thought I spent, yeah, two to three, two to three hours, if that, on on Instagram. No, when I checked myself, it was almost like four and a half, three and a half hours of Instagram. And I'm like, whoa, 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 what? You know, you don't realize you're sitting there scrolling all the time. So what I did, I put an app tracker on my phone to find out how much time I'm consuming on my mobile device. Now, thus, I do. I'm a mobile filmmaker, so I'm always on my mobile device, you know, answering emails or answering comments and stuff like that. But on the other stuff that's not work related for me, you know, I track I started tracking it and it blew my mind how much time extra time I even had on my uh, Instagram that I was wasting on Instagram that I could be using on towards YouTube. And another thing I just forgot, we got straight into this and I forgot to set the timer, guys. Again, if you guys are new to this podcast, we only go for 10 minutes. We just get in and out, right? So I've already been talking for a couple minutes. Gonna go to knock that down to eight minutes there. I got that set. But um, one thing that I wanted, to, I found a cool little quote from this book called How to Stop Procrastinating, right? Uh, the book was by uh, S.J. Scott, which I've been reading a lot of summaries. I don't have, I don't really have a lot of time to read a full book, especially if a book four or five hundred pages. But I've been getting value out of reading summaries. I mean, in, I've been just reading summaries after summaries after summaries from all types, from finances to uh, motivation to stop procrastinating to relationships, just to all this like knowledge that I've just been grabbing them. It's uh, the app I'm using is called um, uh, American Headway or Headway Headway app or something. I'll have the link down in the description. But take a look. Listen to this. Listen to this quote here. When you align yourself with your goals and consistently say no to anything that doesn't match your current focus, you will free up time to focus on the activities that you are worth reading about when you reach the end of your life. How to Stop Procrastinating, uh, as Jay Scott. That blew my mind when I had read this a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, whoa. And that's what made me like realize, you know, okay. 
am I using my focus time maximize? Am I maximizing my focus time? And I wasn't. That's I was wasting two to three hours on Instagram or this app or this game that I was playing. I was I played this golf game on my phone. I was I realized I was spending forty five minutes accumulated through the day of playing that golf game. That's an hour that I could be using for something else. Thus, I took that forty five minutes that I was wasting on that game. Took uh, ten minutes of that to do this podcast. I could go sit here and start playing that game waste 15, 20 minutes on it, or I could spend 20 minutes setting up this podcast and then my 10 minutes to record this podcast for you guys. Again, you got to make some type of sacrifices again. So the most important thing that I think as far as finding time is you need to find out what you spend your time on. I mean, yeah, we all got lives. We got work. We got kids. If you got kids, you know, you you got obligations. I understand that because I do too. And that was another thing again, like, am I just managing time? Figure out, sit down. And first of all, start with your mobile device. Download a tracking app, a screen tracking app or app tracking app and find out how you are using your time on your mobile device. Are you spending most of it playing a game? Are you spending most of it watching Netflix? Are you spending most of it mindlessly scrolling on Facebook or Instagram? Mindlessly, right? You don't really know, but you're just, this motion is just happening. It's sad, but I see, I see, you know, two year olds and three year olds already like, because mom and dad are sitting there just pounding this out, right? You know, for my, my, uh, my podcast listeners, I'm doing the scrolling up finger motion. Okay, so, you know, this is new to me because like I said, almost about a month ago, I started tracking my time on my phone and it blew my mind. And like, you know what? I'm taking my time back that I was wasting on my phone and using it towards my my focus, which is mobile content, being a content creator, I guess. I don't like to I, I don't like to say that word because I think it's kind of trendy. Oh, I'm a content creator. <laughs> whatever but technically i am i make i make content with a mobile device and i post it on youtube i post it on instagram i post it on facebook yeah that's what i'm doing but if you are into or you consider about thinking about being a content creator my first goal my first step would just find out management of your time how can you utilize your time to spend on what you want to do Maybe uh, again, let me go back to the uh, to the, the thing about what we were talking about last time, uh, building your channel. And I don't know what I want to do. I, I don't I don't know how to get started. Well, again, we said we find our niche. We find out what you're passionate about. Right. OK, I'm passionate about. Let's go back to yarning again. I used that example last time. Let's go to yarning. Oh, I have a passion for yarning. OK, that's great. Well, do you have time to do any of this content? Well, yeah, you know what? I tracked my time. I figured out I, I have like almost 15 minutes a day that I can spend on my yarning YouTube page or my my content creation of yarning right 15 minutes okay that's good that's good at least you know you got 15 minutes what can you do in that 15 minutes well let's see we could start now this is another thing i've learned from gary vandercheck okay check this out i've been i I just powered through this his summary yesterday crush it um if you want to build a successful brand you have to forget leisure when you first start out and focus on the task at hand crush it Gary Vandercheck okay right I, that that was another thing I wrote down because that's that was like yeah you do need to kill some leisure time and focus on this so we got our 15 minutes you got 15 minutes to make a, some type of content what are you gonna do well again we didn't want to say we don't want to vlog right vlogging is you know yeah it's not really providing too much value but again something I've learned also from the, this crush it book um documentation versus vlog right okay so we got 15 minutes i don't know how to make videos i don't know how to set up a camera well just take your cell phone and document for 10 minutes how to i don't know set up the needles with the th- with the yarn like how would somebody like i don't know anything about yarning all i see is two chopsticks <laughs> you know and i'm like well how do, how do i do this what do i do what do i do Start. I can I can watch a four minute or a five minute video from you on how first of all how to hold them, how to hold the two sticks, how to take the yarn and just wrap it around it, how to just get started, right? That doesn't take you an hour to set up a YouTube video. Again, put your phone on a tripod. I got a fantastic little tripod system I'm using here from Usky Vision. Links down in the description below, and it's 
It's sitting here hands free. I got everything I need to go. You can just sit here and just show me how to take the yard, wrap it on this, and then how to hold it like this. The beginning stages of yarning, right? And you can, it doesn't have to be a beautiful YouTube production. It can just be a how to because there's someone who doesn't know how to do that. And it can only take a couple of minutes. This is another reason why you need to be taking advantage of Instagram stories, uh, short media, short content. YouTube's on it. 30 second content. You know, I call them commercial content because 30 seconds, 16 seconds, 15 seconds. Those were all like commercial spots back when I was a kid watching cartoons, you know, and then, oh, here comes a 15 second commercial, a 30 second commercial. Right. You don't have to build this 15, 10 minute long video. You could just build a 15 second quick how do i set up my yarn boom oh okay this is how you do it this is how you hold it boom you're ready to go plain and simple and easy again management of your time first thing again we're coming up on oh it's already that time so conclusion what are we gonna do uh from this we can just first let's just load that app on your phone I don't know what, if you got an Android or an Apple, whatever you got, load an app on your phone, track where you're spending your time on your device. Because most of us have our devices in our hand all the time, all the time. It's like, it's like, you know, it's a ball and chain. You got your, got your cell phone, you got the chain wrapped around your neck and it's never, it's never without of arm's reach, your, your device. Find out how much and how are you utilizing your time on your device and then make some decisions about, oh, I don't have time to, to do any content creation. Well, I bet you you're gonna find some time. Do it for a week. Don't just do it for one day. Do it for a week. I took oh, I took two weeks just to really get the, the gist of how much time I was spending on what and why. So there it is, there's the alarm. Action, call to action, download your app, track your time, find out where you're spending your time at on your device and let me know down in the comments did did this you know did you have any eye opening moments like oh my god i can't believe i'm spending this much time on this app or that app okay because i couldn't believe how much time i was spending on instagram yeah some of it was answering comments but a lot of it was mindlessly scrolling consumption too much consuming too much consuming and less creation right okay so also, another call to action down below. I got the email list, the email crew getting us, uh, you know, stuff that's exclusive for email that doesn't get posted on YouTube. I got a free shot list down there, like the basics of how to set up a shot before you hit record. Very simple things that you can do with your cell phone or if you got a camera or a GoPro. And down below, email crew, you can get that free little checklist. Check it out. Patrick LeVar, I'll catch you guys in two weeks. We were a day late on this one, but that's all right. I still, I still brought it. I still finished it on my end because I'm trying to stay consistent. So keep filming. Patrick LeVar, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Peace.